This break is brought to you by Audible. For a free 30-day trial as well as a free audiobook, head over to audible.com forward slash gamebreaker. Now, Riot dropped a hotfix in League of Legends last night, which was primarily aimed at nerfing the Blade of the Ruined King. Here to tell us more about this is our very own Troy Blackburn. So, Troy, what exactly are the devs trying to accomplish with this nerf? Well, essentially, they're trying to bring the Blade of the Ruined King back in line with other items because before this hotfix, the item was extremely cost effective for the amount of havoc it could bring and could absolutely devastate anything it was used against. They've reduced the damage the item does from 30 down to 25, increased the total cost to 3,200 gold up from 2,850, decreased the maximum amount of damage done to minions from 90 to 60, and probably most importantly, made the active apply post mitigation, meaning that armor can now mitigate both the damage and the heal from the active. This is an item that was meant to counter the health stacking defensive meta that's currently popular in the game, and it was doing maybe too good of a job of that. If the item is intended to counter health stacking, then obviously building mitigation should counter that. But with the active applying the way it did, there just wasn't much countering a Blade of the Ruined King, and everybody and their mama was not only building it, but also rushing it as a first item. That alone told most of us that a nerf was probably coming soon. That's a pretty hefty old nerf as well. They've not just like done a little bit here and there, have they? What Do these changes accomplish what the devs were hoping for, do you think? Well, the devs have pretty much admitted that they would rather over nerf the item and then slowly <laughs> bring it back up. And Zyphers in particular said that he feels having the active applied post mitigation is overdoing it a bit. He says that he believes that the active would be in a good spot if it applied maybe 50, 60% pre-mitigation damage and that the post-mitigation can make squishies like mages become the primary target of the active. This isn't going to be the end of the changes for Blade of the Ruined King. It looks like the devs are going to keep tweaking this one and I wouldn't be surprised to see more changes here in a couple of weeks once the items had time to be played and the devs can get a real feel for where it is now. Absolutely. And I do think that the sort of attitude of over nerfing a really, really overused item like this and then slowly bringing it back up again is kind of a good one because it nips the excessive popularity of them in the bud as well. I mean, well, thank you very much for that, Troy. Um, as always, guys, do keep it locked and dialed to Gamebreaker TV for all your League of Legends news as well as your other gaming needs.